Hey guys, this is your seventh video of Summer Band Virtual Lessons, so welcome back and let's get started. In today's video, you will be learning what slides, transition feet, and hip switches are and how to do them. Again, if during any portion of this video you become confused, please be sure to pause and rewatch. And if by the end of this video you have any unanswered questions, remember that we will be answering any questions you guys have during your next meeting. So don't be afraid to ask a band officer or coach for help. Now, I'm going to start off this video by explaining what sliding is. At times, during marching band, especially during the field show, you may need to march to the right or to the left while still facing forward or box center. In these kinds of scenarios, we would march using slides. There are four different types of slides. Forward slides to the right, forward slide to the left, backward slide to the right, and backward slide to the left. Please keep in mind that the slides I will be teaching you today all have your torso twisted 90 degrees away from your feet. However, this isn't always the case as during the field show, you may have to change this angle as your location on the field changes. The command for all four types of slides is similar to backwards marching. There is no explicit command for sliding. For those of you who need a refresher, the beat breakdown is shown on the screen. We are going to start off with forward slide to the left. Remember, this means that your body should be moving to the left when doing this motion. Place your body at a tension. After the command, lift your left foot and place it at a 90 degree angle away from the rest of your body. Your left heel should hit the floor on beat 1, with your body weight evenly distributed between your two feet. I know this position is uncomfortable, but it's very important to keep your core engaged and steady. Plus, this position only lasts for a few seconds, so hold it together. Now. Roll your weight onto your left foot, and move your right foot so it's also at a 90 degree angle away from your upper body. Remember, make sure your upper body is still facing forward. Don't let it shift when you move your lower body. This position should look identical to regular forward marching, just with your torso turned to the right. Remember that your lower body sliding should look the same as regular forwards and backwards marching, with the exception of the step-offs and halts. Remember to properly roll your feet and that during the AND beat, your ankles should cross. Now to halt when you are forward sliding to the left, place your right toe down so it is now facing forward on beat 4 of the measure. This is another uncomfortable position, but don't get sloppy. Next, place your left foot down on beat 1, closing your feet into a tension. Finally, your whole body will now be facing forward. It should look like this when in time. Dot, 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 dot. We are now moving on to forward slide to the right. This means that you will be moving your body to the right. Once again, place your body back at attention. Upon hearing the command, lift your left foot and cross it over your right leg placing it perpendicularly with the rest of your body. This is a relatively stable position, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to hold it. Remember, your left heel should hit into this position on beat 1. Next, lift your right foot and place your right heel down on beat 2. Now, both legs should be perpendicular with the rest of your body. Now moving on to halting while forward sliding to the right. On beat 4, you should place your right toe down on the floor, now facing forward. On beat 1 of the next measure, your left foot should follow, closing your feet back into a tension, once again with your whole body facing forward. It should look like this when in time. Dot, 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 dot. Next, we are going to learn backward slide to the left. Remember, this means that you will be moving to the left, just like forward slide to the left, except this time you are backwards marching. Now come back to attention. When you hear this command, lift your left foot and place your left toe down perpendicularly from your torso on beat 1. On beat 2, place your right toe down, also perpendicularly to your torso. It should look like you are backwards marching, just with your torso turned to the right. Remember, don't let your heels and body drop. This can cause your playing to sound inconsistent, especially since you are sliding. 
Additionally, remember that the tendency when sliding, especially when backwards sliding, is to march diagonally. So to fix this issue, try marching along a line to ensure you are sliding straight. Now, moving into halting when backwards sliding to the left. On beat 4, place your right toe behind your left leg, crossing and placing it forward at attention. On beat 1, let your left foot follow, finishing back at attention. It should look like this when in time. Dut, 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 dut. Finally, we are going to learn backward slide to the right. For the final time, please come back to attention. Upon hearing the command, lift your left foot and cross it behind your right, placing your toe down perpendicularly to the rest of your body on beat one. Then, lift your right foot and place your right toe perpendicularly to your upper body on beat two. Moving into halting, on beat four, place your toe to face forward into attention. On beat one of the next measure, your left foot should have followed and your body should be back at attention. It should look like this when in time. Dut, 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 dut. dut. Moving along, sometimes when marching, you may need to transition to a different direction. The feet positions used when transitioning into a new direction are called transition feet. The first type of transition feet I am going to show you is for when you are going from forwards marching to a forward side to the left. Here's Emma demonstrating it for you. The second type of transition feet I'm going to show you is for when you are transitioning from a forward side to the left to backwards marching. The next type of transition is for when you are transitioning from backwards marching to a forward side to the right. This kind of transition is for when you are going from a forward slide to the right to forwards marching. This next kind of transition is for when you are going from a forwards march to a backwards march. Notice how she replants her foot on beat one. This next transition is for going from a backwards march to a forwards march. When doing this transition, make sure not to let your torso drop down. This transition goes from forwards marching to forward side to the right. Next, Emma is going to show you how to transition from a forward side to the right to backwards marching. In this clip, she will show you how to go from backwards marching to a forward slide to the left. Lastly, Emma is going to show you how to go from a forward slide to the left to forward marching. There are many types of transition feet. However, they are pretty self-explanatory, and the ones I just showed you are the ones that are most frequently used. Keep transition feet in mind when learning new drill, as they make your life a whole lot easier during the field show. There is one special kind of transition that I saved for last. It is called a hip switch. Typically, but not always, this transition is used in the field show when crossing over the 50 yard line so you don't overly rotate your torso into an uncomfortable position and unplayable position. During this kind of transition, you are sliding from a forward slide to a backward slide. Watch how my feet and lower body rotate in order to smoothly transition between the two types of slides. Well, that's it for today's video. I know I covered a lot, so again, don't be afraid to ask questions. The band leadership team and staff is here for you. See you in the next meeting. Bye!